Hey everybody, I've had some friends ask me about how I was going to flash in these corners, but anyway, I got this flash in here going down the gable wall, and I'm going to tuck my next piece in up under it, then moves down to the end, and then come over 38 inches and measure up was somewhere right in there. And then I'll go up the uh, hip. But all that will get tucked up under the flashing. Okay, we got the first piece up in here in the corner. And I need to slide it up. Tuck it up under here. I don't know if I'm going to try this one-handed, but... I'll show you what it looks like after I get it in there. Yeah. That looks pretty good right there. And I'm on the center. And same thing down here. That looks good. I'm going to get my feathers in there and then uh, I'll be ready to screw this piece of tin down. But I'll make sure it's even on the bottom where it should be. This flashing looks good just laying down on top of that. And then this return from this roof here will come down over the top. But I might have to bend some of these high pieces down. Get to lay down. One of the reasons I didn't make this tent any longer to go up underneath here because I got the uh, corrugation pushing against my drip edge. So I didn't want to go any further than I had to. Okay, I'm going to cut out my fillers. You can see how bad curved that one before is. And I'll uh, draw me a line down through there. And I'll make sure it's three inches out here to the edge. So I can get two pieces out of it. When I bought my roofing panels, I didn't buy any ridge cap because I felt like it wasn't wide enough to uh, accommodate my 312 pitch. I was afraid rain would push up under it. And so uh, I wanted something wider and I was going to contact a uh, metal company to get some wider ridge cap. They didn't answer the phone, so uh, I didn't feel like I need to do business with them. So what I did is I've been cutting my metal panels in half, and then uh, these are two inches wider than the uh, ridge cap at Home Depot. The only thing I don't like is it's the uh, edge isn't cramped where I'm cutting them, but I can straighten them up and make them look good. And uh, they're they're better than the ones at Home Depot, but they're not as good as the ones that I could have bought. But uh, I figure if I want to do business with somebody, they can answer the phone. Well, you can see I've already cut this side, this full panel in half, and you can see the ripples in the edges and we're going to fix that but I got to cut this other edge off over here and then I'll have me a 
10 foot ridge panel. I think it might be easier to start on this end because the panel has to curve up along the handle and so I think the flat part's easier than fighting with the uh, the rib. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this end. You can see the riffles in the edge. We're going to see if we can get some of that out. Could have made it look a little better. I've done both sides and hammered on it a little bit, but uh, you're not gonna be able to see it. And besides that, I don't know anybody lives in a perfect world. First thing I'm gonna do is slide my my ridge cap up here and then see where I might cut the edges off. Let me get it up in there and uh, see how it fits. Okay, looks like I'm gonna leave right where it's at. I'm gonna cut it off on that side of the rib so it'll lay down right through there. I'm gonna mark it with a pencil because uh, I can still see it and I can uh, erase it real easy. But uh, I think I might just, I might go under here. Might take this under here. That might be what I do, just lay it on top. Yeah, about like that. And then my return is going to come down from here on down on top of this rib here. So let me cut this off from right here down to here. All right, I got my ridge cap lined up in the center and I got my uh, return piece. It's going over top of it up here and uh, we're going to slide this end in. And Leave that right there like that. And see that return is going to come over top of this ridge here. A rib, they call it. So, I don't have to worry about that leaking. But, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to mash that, that down or not. We'll see when I get it on there. Looks like I will. I'm going to go ahead and screw it down because that's where it's going to stay. Okay, I got my ridge cap screwed down underneath. And I put my return, I tucked it up under this rib here. And I'm going up under the main uh, cabin roof with it. So, uh, it looks like it's going to lay down alright. We'll see. Okay, it looks pretty good. I can go up under there a little more. And uh, I'll screw it down across this bottom edge. And probably cut out a little bit on the side of this piece. So it'll fit down over top the ridge on the cap. Right here's a shot of my corner of my... Uh, flashing. I'm going to touch up where it's ten scratched up a little bit. But this is my return. It comes on down here and across the top of my 
ridge cap. I still got to screw it all the way down and finish the end up. Well, I know it's not going to leak the way it is. I don't really like the way it looks on the edge out here. But I could put some trim under there, you know, make it look right with the facer board. But then the uh, wasp and debris would get up under there. So I'm going to kind of leave it open like it is. I'll give you a shot of what it looks like from the ground.